So snapper, uh, we use this in, in Texas because it comes from our, our Gulf. I love right. snapper. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's very important that you that you get um, nice fresh fish. So mm -hmm. you need a good fishmonger. In yep. Houston, we have wonderful um, purveyors that get us um, really good stuff out, out of the Gulf. So this one was a whole fish. Then we filleted it down. The nice big fillet too. It, it is. They're about um, three pound snappers. A little wow. bit, probably a little bit bigger with head on when uh, mm -hmm. when we got this in. But um, very good, very meaty. And when you know, I worked in Puerto Rico at another Rally mm. Chateau property uh, for a couple years. We had some very good snapper oh, from there as well. So what we want to do is for for this, we're going to cut so the nice little. Um, Pavés, I like to I like to say. All but right. at home, you don't have to trim off all, all the all the fish. Yeah, and the fishmonger could do this for you. You could buy them easily um, filleted like this. These things here we can make into a fish soup or mm -hmm. anything like that. that little we, chef snacks. Exactly. <laughs> you can actually put them, skin them, and put them in a nice little crispy tempura batter. Mm, that, yeah, nice, we'll do that after. Exactly. <laughs> so we're so just, you're scoring the skin? We're just going to score it a little bit so that then um, when we put it on the grill, get a little bit of heat in there, a little bit of mm -hmm. flavor from the grill, and also the skin doesn't shrink up so much. Okay, really that's tight, a good tip. Tighten up with us on, the, on that. So we're going to... Add a little bit of olive oil to this. Mm -hmm. Would you use an extra virgin olive oil here or something a little lighter? Um, in this case, we got extra virgin olive mm -hmm. oil. Um, you can use something a little bit lighter if you have it available in, in your kitchen. But I think if uh, for grilling and for things that we're going to put all on the plate like this, it's good to use a good oil because you want to be able to have a nice flavor there for it. So we're going to try out this um, little grill here. Just, this is a fantastic grill. You can feel <laughs> the is. heat we, all the way over there. We have some wonderful equipment here. We're, we're very well equipped. Yes. All right. How's the fish? It's good. So. Oh, wow. So we got nice grill marks on that. We do. And, you know, it's always a little, a little bit, you know, don't worry about the skin being like that. We want the flavor on there. We want the skin on there. Some people move the skin to the side when they eat it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and we're going to put all the vegetables on there to make the thing. So the main thing here is the flavor. You know, we really want that grill flavor totally. for the fish. And we want to be able to just make sure that, um, you know, we're cooking it through, but not overcooking it. So it's... Uh, Very important with fish. It most certainly is. You know, it's a really, really... Uh, and freshness, you know, when it's when it's fresh, you can have it a, a little bit under. You know? Oh, you sure. You don't have to have it so far. I actually prefer it that way. Yep, that's the best <laughs> way to do it. 